I guess one of the things I loved the most was that there was no end to the support if you needed it. You never felt like you were all alone or left in the dark about something, you know? There was always somebody you could go talk to, always somebody that was there to like write out the list of what you need to do next. This is how we fix this. This is how we work through this part. You know, even in student clinics, I have a client that goes, I'm dealing with this, and I'm like, I don't really know what to do with that. I know I can just email any one of my instructors, and I'll just get a plethora of answers back. Well, try this, try this, try this. Have you asked this? this. And it's amazing to have that support. Even now, after being graduated, I know I could go to any of them and get any kind of advice, help, anything like that. And that's so valuable to me. I don't know that you could get that at other schools. It's a really great community, I think, that's been built up in this school. And knowing you can just rely on any alumni, any graduates, any instructors, everyone's just there for each other. In one of my uh, pathology classes, we had to do a case report. We had to choose somebody in our life and a condition they were dealing with or whatever, physical or otherwise, and um, work on them for six weeks, document our results. I decided to choose my 11-year-old son, and the condition was that he was more or less ADHD, just all over the place. Um, it was the most amazing experience that I have ever had. This, this kid, ever since he was little, he doesn't like being physical with anyone. He's not a cuddler, he's not a toucher, don't hug me, don't. And he's a grumpy little boy all the time. He gets so embarrassed by the way that I act or the way his sister acts, right? Um, after time went on and he agreed to continue letting me work on him, he got to a point where he would lay down, take a deep breath and just uh, relax. And he would just relax into it so much and he loved it and it, it it completely changed his personality. Like he got to the point where he was running up and giving me hugs or giving grandma hugs. He would be like singing and skipping in the aisles in the store, which is just completely unheard of. You know, I, I mean, it really just changed his whole personality. And I think he was okay with me working on him, not as his mother touching him, but as a therapist. Like this is logical, this is scientific. It's not mom trying to hug me or touch me, you know. Um, but, I mean, ever since then, he can cuddle with me on the couch and watch a movie, and it's just been mind-blowing to me. It just reinforced the idea that, it, that body work and being touched is so important for everybody. You know, and I find that very flattering, but at the same time, I, I well, why? I feel like because of my education at Mayo, we were so encouraged to find our own way. We were given the framework, but inside the frame, we're our own artists, and we can move and do and customize everything to what we feel is best for our client, or, you know? I don't know, I find that so important that I'm not just giving such a cookie cutter massage that everyone else has learned, you know? And I'm not saying that other schools are bad or that other therapists are bad, because I've met really, really great therapists, but I feel like my, my training is so much different than, than what they received. And obviously, a lot of them feel the same way as well. And a lot of them have wanted to do their continuing education at myotherapy because their own school hasn't offered continuing education. And that's also super important to me.